Hi, and welcome to another one of Howlumber's Wednesday morning webinars. My name is Josh Robbins, and I'm one of the designers here at Howlumber. Uh, today, we're going to talk about personalizing your cabinetry with accessories. So first of all, what are cabinet accessories? Well, cabinet accessories are useful items such as dividers, organizers, pullouts, or even LED lighting that you can option out your cabinetry with. These items can come built in to your cabinetry from the cabinet manufacturer, or they can come as loose items that you or your contractor install. Accessories can help personalize your space and make your cabinetry more functional. Why might you want to personalize with accessories? Well, depending on your needs, you may want to include a few or more accessories to help make your cabinetry more useful and efficient. If, for instance, you have a drawer that you plan to store utensils in, you may want to consider a utensil divider to help keep your things neat and organized. Or you may find a use for a mixer shelf in one of your cabinets if, say, you have a KitchenAid mixer. If you're thinking, okay, so far this sounds good, what other types of accessories are available? Well, there are a plethora of different accessories in the forms of inserts, pullouts, dividers, etc that satisfy all sorts of storage solution needs. Some of the most common accessories that people might be familiar with are trash pullouts, lazy Susans, and rollout trays, but there are many more optional accessories that you can personalize with. While all the cabinet lines that How Lumber sells offer the most common accessories, some of the cabinet lines may have fewer or more accessories than others. This doesn't mean that you're out of luck, however, if you choose a cabinet manufacturer that doesn't offer a lot of optional accessories. If, for instance, uh, you went with Fabby Wood cabinetry and they didn't offer a specific accessory that you're looking for, we can usually get that accessory from a different vendor and it could be installed in your cabinets. You may be wondering uh, what accessories are going to work best for me and in my space. Uh, this is a good question and a good discussion to have with your designer. Not every accessory is going to work well for everyone and for every space. Uh, there are a few popular accessories that we designers typically include in the majority of our kitchen designs. Uh, and you may want all of these and even more, or you may just want some and not others. Uh, it's a good idea to ask your designer to go over the different types of available accessories and uh, let them know which ones you feel are gonna work best for you in your design. Uh, you may be thinking, I don't necessarily need uh, or want a bunch of accessories. I mostly just want open cabinetry, and that's perfectly fine. Um, as a matter of fact, we designers don't necessarily recommend that you load up all of your cabinets uh, with accessories unless you have specific needs or wants. Uh, some accessories can take up precious cabinet space and also make it difficult to utilize a particular cabinet uh, for purposes other than what it was originally intended for. Uh, for instance, a built-in sheet pan pullout is a great option, uh, but would not work well as a storage solution for many other things other than sheet pans. Uh, you want to keep this in mind if you rearrange your kitchen items often, or if you're moving into a new space and you're not quite sure yet where you plan to store all of your items. Uh, you may just want to stick with a few accessories that you know are going to work best for you and you're going to get the most use out of. All right, so you're probably wondering uh, how much are all these accessories and how much are they gonna cost me? Uh, well, it depends on the accessory and how many of them you, re you request in your design. The cost of these accessories is included in the package price of your cabinetry, uh, but you wanna keep in mind that the more uh, accessories and specialized cabinets that you request, typically the higher cost of your cabinet package. For an example, uh, a kitchen filled to the brim with accessories is generally going to cost more than the same kitchen with far fewer accessories. Uh, so you'll want to budget accordingly. Uh, when in talks with your kitchen designer, uh, please let us know of any specific storage solution requests or needs, or if you have your eye on any particular accessories. Uh, this way we can incorporate these into your design while keeping in mind your budget. That concludes this week's webcast topic. Uh, please reach out to myself or one of the other kitchen designers here at Hell Lumber if you have any questions on cabinet and accessories or anything else cabinet related. Uh, thank you very much for watching.